and NXT. NXT. Yeah, yeah. And it's cat day. Oh, yeah. My Hers cat. went to jail. Yeah, it went to jail. Mine's in the closet, kind of like waiting to pounce. Yeah, because best friend's in jail. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> well. Anyway, what started off NXT was a woman tag team match. Candice LeRae and Io Sarari with Shayna's Little Posse, Jessamyn Duke, Ver and Marina Shafir, Shafir, whatever. But the last couple of minutes of the match, Sharari, she was like, she was going in like, she was on fire. Yeah, she like got stomping on her hand and everything. It was, it was yeah, awesome. It was like a 619 for Rey Mysterio. And a drop kick. She drop kicked um Jessamine, and then because she when she did that it wasn't after. Because <sighs> Shayna Baszler was like no 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 no. She was like yeah. Because like, no. she was like and she ended up doing the elbow because she was looking at I uh, Shayna and she did it, and then Shayna pulled Jessamine Duke out of the way, and Eo um. Went on the top rope and fly on Shayna and then, um, what's her name? Candace. She did a suicide dive yep. on the outside to them. And the ref, um, yeah. And then the ref called for the bell out of nowhere and then I, did you see EO? And Basler battling in the stands, and Candice LeRae is dealing with the other two. And they're trying to split them apart, and it's not it's working. Just, yeah, I was like crazy. Oh yeah. I hope Io sorry finally gets. I don't know if, if Shannon will always keep winning, and they'll just kind of keep having this rivalry over and over again. But that'll be boring. But um, she totally needs it. Come on, I mean, well, it's time for a change. And let Io get the NXT Championship, and then eventually when she's done, she can join Asuka and Kari Shane, and mm -hmm. it'll be the three Japanese <laughs> women. Yeah, like it's gonna be like the three it, Musketeers. It, no, it'll be like the she. They'll be like the female version of Shield. They're unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. Each of them would have their own symbols. Yep. And then next was that submission match with uh, Kushida and Drew Gulak. Oh. Kushida came out like he was like Back to the Future kind of looking because with his glasses and all that. Yep. And of course, Drew Gulak like, looking gay. Of course. <laughs> but Kushida won. He's proving more and more day that yeah. he's really good. Yeah. He really is. He uh he won with the hoverboard lock. I think that's what it's called. Hoverboard lock. Um. He actually um. Shook hands and bowed to uh, Drew Gulak. At first, we thought he was gonna do something because he kept going like this to him, like yeah. poking him. Like I thought, oh boy, I thought he was gonna hit him. Like I want the or whatever. So I'm like, eh, who knows? Yeah. Um, and then there's next, and in uh, two weeks, I think it's for the title. In two weeks, it's going to be a steel cage with Eo and Shayna. Oh, so. that's gonna be interesting to see. And now in a steel cage, nothing can evolve. That'd be awesome. And then there was this little segment with that um those two uh, female wrestlers, Vanessa and Alaya. They're pretty much saying they're disgusted how Mia Yim thinks that she thinks she's next in line for the NFC Women's Championship. That they're more deserving. And they would they would approve me and him wrong in the ring, but they want they want me and him to get her studies up. Uh, Vanessa brought some English books and for dummy books for me and him to study up. I was like, wow. Come on, like like here's your what is it like the guide to talking or something? Yeah. Like come on. It's like really. You should use it. Yeah. Go ahead, go in a match with me and him. And me and him, and me and him should get a partner because we know whoever she goes against, you, Alaya or Vanessa, either one is gonna help each other. Or 
would be really good instead of her going over to where Asuka and um Kari Shane, why don't you just team up with uh you know Car um with uh, Mia Yim. Mia Yim Cassa whatever her name is, Cassandra, Cassa uh, Cass Candace Ray. Her and and Yo. That would be a weird combination. It could be their <laughs> little groupy thing on uh NXT. If not, go back. Go over there. <laughs> They'll accept you. <laughs> but. And then the main event it was a crazy match. It was <gasps> Odie Larkin and Danny Birch Ugh. versus Undisputed Era, uh, Roger Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. Um, it's crazy. Alright, let me see here. End up being Oni and Danny Birch winning because Danny Birch uh, roll, via rolled up on O'Reilly, but this is how it was. Lorca reverses into a pinning participant. So Kyle releases, strikes, and a block buster lets Oni get to the corner, and then both guys make the tag. Birch gets the better of a striking exchange, but. After a suplex to Strong and then another round of strikes, Kyle tags himself back in. Danny dodges the axe kick and hits the headbutt. Kyle Brown for a one a one fall. Trans how did I spell that? Transitioned right into a cross face. And then um Roddy pulls Kyle to the ropes and then releases fire back with a Lariat. Brainbuster from um a K um, Kyle O'Reilly, but only breaks it up the pin. Um, they all swing, and then everyone goes down, and then here comes, um, Jackson Riker from the Forgotten Sons. And then the, yep. the, the, the security's trying to stop him, <laughs> and he choke slams the one security and throws the, <laughs> and throws the one into the stairs. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. And everyone else is getting all ready and to deal with the interrupting the big man and then um Danny um makes this move and that's a match because everyone's focusing that's how Danny Birch did the via roll up on O'Reilly because they were focusing on from the, Jackson Riker. Yeah. And then of course they all go out of the ring and Roger Strong and Kyle O'Reilly are uh, mad because they won with a via roll up. It was crazy. It's probably going to be something next week with uh, the Forgotten Son, Jackson Riker. It's going to be it might be Forgotten Sons and Oni and Lorkin, or Forgotten Sons and Unspeeded Air, or Forgotten Sons and Unspeeded Air versus Oni Lorkin, Daybirch, and someone else. Probably Street Profits, probably. Yep, probably. Probably, probably like, a like, four, a, like four. An eight man tag. Four and four. So, but that was an exceed. Yeah, it was. It was interesting. It was interesting. I mean, it was, it was yeah. a little better than uh, SmackDown this week, and yeah. um, well, I would say Monday Night Raw a little bit. Yeah. Well, two or five did had a couple good moments. Yeah. So, what did you thought of NXT yeah. this week? What did you like? Did you like the main event? Did you like how Vanessa and Elias and it wants to tell me and Yim to study up, thinking they're better than me and Yim, more deserving? Um, are you, are you, st are you now impressed by Kish Kishida? Yeah. Or you just don't like him? Whatever. Um, do you, um, do, you, do, you do you still like the, uh, Honest Booted Error or whatever? Who was your yeah. favorite out of those two? Yeah. I don't like either one, so <laughs> there you go. There's my answer for them. Who do you think's going to win the Steel Cage in two weeks? Eo yeah. or Shayna? Who do you want to win? Um, but... I mean, if they do that, if they do do that, I'm 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 voting for the, like the Forgotten Sons and Street Profits. Oh yeah, if they do that, but I think they might. They're probably gonna. Cause it's gonna be one big brawl. But that's next week. We'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. Um, but until next time, make yeah. sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.